When they're in the lab, scientists use chemicals called acids and bases in all kinds of experiments. But sometimes, these chemicals look really similar and are hard to tell apart. So scientists use indicators, which are chemicals that change colors in acidic or basic conditions. Scientists have plenty of fancy indicators, but you can actually make your own indicator at home. And the science behind it has all kinds of uses. To make your own indicator, you're going to need three pipettes, three plastic cups or jumbo test tubes like we've got, and sodium carbonate. You'll also need some red cabbage, a blender, a strainer or coffee filter, vinegar, and some sample liquids from around your home. First, grab your blender, put in one big leaf of cabbage and two cups of water, then liquefy it. There's a button here that says liquefy, so I'm going to push that one. Once you got some good cabbage juice, pour the liquid through a strainer or coffee filter to get the pulp out. Save the purple liquid for your tests and get rid of all the pulp. Is this more than you will need? Yeah. It never hurts to have too much purple cabbage water. Next, set up your jumbo test tube rack and fill each tube halfway with cabbage juice. So to the first test tube, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice, which I know is acidic, and see what happens. Whoa! That changed color. It's pink now. Now, of course, lemon juice is acidic. It has something called citric acid in it. So this is a sign that the cabbage juice turns red or pink when it reacts with an acid. In the second test tube, I'm going to add some sodium carbonate. I'm just going to add it until I see a color change. Oh, it's definitely changing color. Whoa, that's pretty. It's turning like a beautiful blue-green. Wow! Since sodium carbonate is a base, that means the cabbage juice turns green or blue in a base. Now, I'm not going to do anything to that third test tube. I'm going to keep it around as a reference for what the cabbage juice looks like in a neutral solution. So now that I got my test tube set up, I'm going to start experimenting. For each test, I'm going to pour a little bit of cabbage juice into a plastic cup and then use my pipette to add a squirt or two of some sample liquid. Let's get started. So, let's do some acetic acid, good old vinegar. I think we know what's going to happen here. You can see, oh yeah, that's getting acidic. And you got the light, light pink that we saw here with the lemon juice. Now milk, obviously, comes with its own color. It's hard to tell because of how, uh, you know, it got milkier. So it's a lighter color. If anything, I think it turned a little bit pink. And then because of safety, we can't actually take the top off of this one. But I can squirt it in and see. This is a glass cleaner. Oh. And immediate color change to blue. That looks very similar to what we had with the sodium carbonate. In this experiment, I made my own chemical indicator using red cabbage juice. This worked because cabbage contains something called anthocyanins. These are tiny molecules, particles too small for you to see, that change shape depending on whether they're in an acid or a base. When they change their shape, they reflect different colors of light. So that's why my indicator turned red when I put an acid in it and green when I put in a base. Anthocyanins aren't just found in red cabbage, though. They're found in other plants, including hydrangea flowers. Depending on the acidity of the soil you grow a hydrangea in, the flowers will either turn blue or pink. So the next time you see one, you know what the soil is like. These molecules are really important to scientists, too. They can use anthocyanins in types of solar cells, which turn light from the sun into electricity that you can use to power your house or your school. Because anthocyanins come in many different colors, they can absorb certain colors of light better, and that helps solar cells capture more light and produce produces more clean, Earth-friendly electricity. It's cool that such a simple experiment can teach you so much about the world around you. I hope you had a lot of fun with it.